Have you ever been stopped by the police? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. How many times? Uh, a couple times. You ever been pulled over by the police for absolutely no reason at all? Uh, I've never been pulled over by the police. Police ever pull you over? Yeah, a yeah. lot. Uh, for right. doing? For nothing. For nothing, huh? You ever been to a police station? Nope. Come on, tell me the truth. I'm a virgin with police stations. What would you say if I told you there was a guy in Washington, D.C. who constantly gets pulled over by the police and he's not done anything wrong at all? I'd say that's bad. I feel sorry for him. Would you like to meet him? Sure. Don't be frightened. Okay. He's right in here. Meet Brian Anthony Harris, considered by some to be one of America's most dangerous criminals. A real menace to society. He's no stranger to the Washington, D.C. police either. He keeps getting pulled over for crimes ranging from homicide to grand theft auto. Only problem is, he's always the wrong guy. How many times have they pulled you over? Wow, at least 20 times. And how many crimes have you committed? <laughs> None. None? None. Zero. Jaywalking? No jaywalking. Littering? No littering. Canadian coins in a parking meter? <laughs> None at all. Nothing not, at all? No slugs, nothing. That's right. Brian Anthony Harris is an honest, church-going man. He's the director of lighting at BET, Black Entertainment Television. He's never been arrested, and he's never committed a crime. First time it happened, uh, what happened? Wow. <laughs> The first time it happened, I was over here at the gas station, at the Amical gas station, going to get gas. As I proceeded out of the gas station, I noticed that there were several cop cars riding by. Lights were flashing, blaring, everything. So I go, wow, they must be really after somebody. I look in the mirror, make sure everything's clear. The cops stopped me. A shotgun was placed to my neck. The officer told me, get out of the car. I was asked to spread my arms, cross my legs so that I couldn't run, I'm sure. And if I made a move, I would be shot. I was asked about a homicide that had just taken place down the street. It went from a questioning session to, we know you did it, just confess to it. About five minutes later, there was a female detective, looks at me and says, hold it, hold it, wait a minute, this is not the guy. Wait a minute, what's going on? And then at that point, then everyone realized, ooh, we made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But we're watching you. In case you do something, we know where you are. So I'm like, okay. Of the 20 times you've been pulled over, um, mm -hmm. how many times have you been arrested? Not zero. Because zero. they can't arrest you, right? Exactly. Because you didn't do it. No crime was committed. Mm -hmm. It seemed like Brian could never leave the house without worrying about being pulled over. We had to find a way for TV Nation to help. So we discussed the problem with Brian's family and friends. But what he's going through, yeah, there's no telling how many others are going through the same exactly. thing that he's going through. Well, that's what I think. Well, I think it's maybe what we need to do is help the police know he didn't do it and, not, and just to leave him alone from now on. I hope it works. I hope, so. I hope it works. We all hope so. Yes, yeah. we do. You, you join me in that do. campaign? Yes, yes. <laughs> the solution to Brian's problem was easy. All we had to do was talk to the police. And just to make sure they didn't miss our point, we chose a very special vehicle for the trip downtown. I'm Michael Moore from TV Nation. Anybody here know him? Never seen him before? Okay. Look out your window there, behind you. Oh my God. He is not wanted. Can we put this up on your bulletin board here? Just going to put it right up here by your wanted sign. Okay. Not wanted. Brian Anthony Harris. Okay. Come here, sir. I want to talk about Brian yes. Anthony Harris. If you would, please. Can we talk in here? No, sir. Come in, come in here with me. What would be wrong with talking in here? Will you talk to us out here? Yes, I'll talk to you. Okay. All right, good. Hey, they tricked us. And on top of that, the cops had sneaked outside and given our billboard truck a ticket. I decided to send one of my TV Nation staffers to convince the cop on the beat that Brian was not wanted. I could 
see a few leaflets weren't going to get the job done. So we decided to take to the airways and run a commercial on television. Coming up next, a teen daughter tells her dad, you have put me down for the last time. We'll be right back. A message for the Washington, D.C. police. Do you know me? You should. You've stopped me over 20 times in the past few years for crimes I did not commit. Apparently, I look like some kind of a bad guy to you, when in actuality, I'm a hard-working, law-abiding citizen. So please, next time you decide to stop me, check your records. My name is Brian Anthony Harris, and I'm not the guy you're looking for. Thank you. I'd be scared. He, he was a scary-looking guy to me, and I think most of the crimes committed in this uh, area are committed by black men. He looks like Rodney King. It's always been the top being a black man in this country. Now that we had people talking, it was time to take it to the streets. Brian and I decided to visit another precinct to gauge their reaction. Oh, thank you. I'm Michael Moore from TV Nation. This is Brian Anthony Harris, a citizen of D.C. We're just going around to the different precincts to educate all of D.C. that he is a not wanted man. We thought, you know, because you have to deal with criminals all day, you'd like to meet somebody who's never committed a crime. Why don't you shake his hand? Shake the man's hand. Nice there. Day, There's a start. A okay, day. thank you, okay. sir. And thank point you. Did I meet with you? Certainly. If you'd like to come back right now, I'd be more than happy to speak to you. You want to do that? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll wait. Okay. All right. We've got a billboard out front, too. For now, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the building with the camera, so you're going to have to step outside. Well, that wasn't the first time I heard that. He'll be okay back there, right? He'll be fine, sir. He's, he's been in police custody a few too many times, you know what I mean? Sir. All right. And uh, we'll wait for him. Okay. I was starting to worry, but calling the police was out of the question. Hey, hey how'd it go? Went great. Huh? Went great. Good? Got a lot yeah. of information. Oh, what got happened? An, got an apology. They apologized to you. Oh, that's great. They gave me personal numbers to if contact. I mean, if it happens again? I can, yes, I can call them. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, <laughs> basically I made a friend. So like, now if Brian is pulled over, <laughs> he's got it made. You're not if guy. he's near a phone. And if not, we left the police a little reminder. <laughs> We here at TV Nation know that this problem is not unique to Brian Anthony Harris. So, if you're an African-American male who's been pulled over and harassed by the police for absolutely no reason at all other than being black, call this number on the screen right now and we'll put your name on Brian's Not Wanted billboard. And then in two weeks, we'll park that billboard across the street from FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C., alerting police agencies all over the country to leave you alone compliments of TV Nation. The call will cost you 70 cents a minute and please, African American men only.